गुड मॉर्निंग एसके वेलोसिटी दिस इज अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम फिजिक्स इन फिजिक्स देयर इज वन चैप्टर कॉल्ड जनरल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर एंड इन दैट चैप्टर वील फाइंड वन चैप्टर दैट इज लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन which was uh, proposed by sir isaac newton and the law was what that is known to you the force of attraction between any two particle is proportional to the uh, product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them okay so that was the law and there we will get one uh constant of proportion that is called uh, um, universal gravitational constant universal gravitational constant so that thing is known to you so that can be written as f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square where g is the universal gravitational constant m1 and m2 are the two point masses and r is the distance between those two point masses okay so if f be the force of attraction between them then in that case f is given by this formula and this formula was proposed by uh, sir isaac newton so using this formula uh, we are going to derive an expression for escape velocity okay escape velocity what is escape velocity you know that say uh, this is earth okay say this is earth this is the center of the earth and say this is the radius of the earth and say mass of earth is denoted by m suffix e e stands for earth m suffix e is the mass of the earth means earth is what it is our planet earth on which we are living so this is earth and say say somewhere here you take one point somewhere here you take one point and you know that since earth is present this massive mass is present therefore uh, surrounding of this earth or or this of this planet surrounding of this planet there is gravitational field due to the presence of this mass massive mass is there okay so gravitational field is there at any point around the earth if there is one particle then that particle will feel some force of attraction due to the presence of this earth okay so and if you uh take one particle or any object if you take and if you give some velocity to the particle so the particle will move in the upward direction and after some time uh it will move in the upward direction that is known to you and since acceleration due to gravity is present and that acceleration is acting in the downward direction and the object is moving in the upward direction so what is actually happening actually retardation is acting on that particle or the object okay so the velocity will go on decreasing with time so since velocity will go on decreasing with time therefore after some time the object will having only zero velocity means the object will stop somewhere okay and after that due to the presence of acceleration due to gravity the object will start falling in the downward direction and this is known to you so question is what is escape velocity escape velocity is defined as such a velocity if you put uh, if you give if you provide a minimum velocity for which the object will not return back to the surface of the earth again okay it is such a velocity the object will not return to the surface of earth but below the escape velocity 
if you put or give that much of velocity which is below the external velocity in that case in that case the object will again fall on the surface of the earth so escape velocity is the minimum velocity okay for which the object will not return to the surface of the earth now you take this point somewhere here and say this point is at a distance say this point okay this point is at a distance of x x means from where from the center of the earth okay from the center of the earth this distance is x okay so uh, so what they say this point is denoted by a this point and you take an adjacent point somewhere here okay on the same line huh? we have taken this point say this point is denoted by b and the gap between them gap between them is very small that gap is dx okay this gap is only dx and you know that since we have written dx that means it is infinitesimally small quantity okay so this gap is taken to be dx now to move a particle from this point to this point from point a to point b we need to do some work on that particle it is known to you so say at this point the force of attraction is f okay force of attraction is f so to move that particle by a distance dx how much work is required to be done that is equal to this force multiplied by the distance dx this distance dx is a linear distance okay means here dx is the displacement of the particle so f into dx that is the four uh, that is the work done required required for the particle to take from point a to point b okay so since we are talking about escape velocity that means what we are doing actually uh, conceptually it is equal to we are taking the particle from the surface of the earth up to the infinity mathematically this can be said this way from the surface of the earth means this point okay this point is the surface of the earth from surface of the earth up to the infinity so if we can calculate that much of work so that much or since the particle will not return back to the surface of the earth that means the particle goes to infinity okay so we need to do what we need to calculate the total work done for doing that thing so how you will get that thing just integrate this expression here x will vary from not zero we are not taking the particle from the center of the earth we are taking the particle from here surface of the earth so what is the value of x here value of x is equal to radius of earth so x is equal to radius of earth up to x is equal to what x is equal to infinity so we are taking infinity because at infinity there will be no gravitational field so there will be no attraction so the particle will not come back to the surface of the earth that's why we have taken infinity here so this is the total work done okay this is the total work done w so now if you can calculate this one then uh, then then what then uh, you can calculate the escape velocity of the particle so f is what f is equal to g m one into by r square okay here r will be replaced by what so here i am writing the same thing x is equal to r here x is equal to infinity and here f is how much f is equal to g and two masses are there so here m1 will be replaced by this m e mass of the earth so m suffix e and say mass of the object is 
just small length. There is no suffix, only small length is there. So this is small length. Okay. Means M clay has been replaced by small a only. And radius, uh, here this is the distance between the particles. So here the distance will be x from center. Uh, yes, from the center of the earth, the force of attraction will be calculated. So it will be equal to from here to here x. Okay. So x is square. Here you can see uh, and dx is of, of course there, this dx is there. Okay. So here you can see G, M, E, M, all these three things are constant. So these things can be taken outside the integral sign. So you will get what? You will get, I am showing here. Okay, next line I am showing here. W is equal to W is equal to G M E M into uh, x to the power minus 2 since 1 by x square is there dx x varies from r up to infinity okay infinity so this is equal to g m e m and integration is how much x to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 this is the integration and x varies from here infinity, here it is r. So this is x to the power minus 1, that is 1 by x. And this minus, you are getting 1, minus 1 here. So write this way, minus g m e, sorry, only m, small m, g m e, m. And here, uh, minus, uh, 1 by x is there. So 1 by x. Here infinity, here r. So this is equal to what? This is equal to minus g m e m. And here you are getting 1 by infinity minus 1 by r. Okay. What is 1 by infinity? Let me again check whether everything is visible or not. Yeah. See that is visible. 1 by infinity is how much? It is 0. So here you are getting only minus 1 by r. So this minus and this minus makes plus. So you are getting here g m e m by r. So this is the total work done. Okay. So this is the total work done uh, to move the particle from the surface of the earth up to infinity. So this is the total work done. Okay. G M E M by R. So now using this work done, we can calculate the escape velocity of the particle. Okay. Using this one. So how that is possible? Just by calculating the work done. So this work done will be equal to what? This work done will be equal to uh, this work done will be equal to the kinetic energy of the particle or the object. Kinetic energy of the particle. So what is the mass of the particle? That is small m. Say velocity with which the particle was thrown. Okay. That velocity is v. So what is the kinetic energy of the particle? That is equal to half into mv square. Right. So what we need to do? You make this half mv square is equal to this work done. Okay. So same thing we are doing here. Right? So this small m and this small m are cancelled. Therefore, from here what we are getting is V is equal to 2G M E by R and under root of this. Right? Again, I need to check. Yes. So this is the V. V is equal to this much, root over of G M E by R. Okay. And uh, this thing, uh, you know that, <coughs> you know that uh, weight of the particle is how much? Weight of the particle is M G. Right? Small g is acceleration due to gravity. This is the weight of the particle. 
okay, or the object. And this is equal to force of attraction. So this is equal to G M E M by R square. Am I right? So you can see that G M E this is equal to how much? This M and this M are cancelled. So G M E is equal to G R square. Am I right? From here we are getting G M E G M E is equal to G R square. Okay. So from here G M E okay G M E by R is equal to only G R. Right? And here G M E by R has appeared. Therefore small v small v means escape velocity. This is equal to root over of root over of 2 g r right root over of 2 g r now if you put the value of g we know that value of g is 9.81 and r is how much for earth r is radius of earth okay so for earth it is equal to 6400 kilometer so you have to convert this kilometer in terms of meter since we have written g in terms of meter per second square so kilometer multiplied by 10 cube means 1000 makes it meter and under root of this okay so if you do this you will get the result in terms of meter per second and if you convert that in terms of kilometer per second then you will get almost approximately 11.2 kilometer per second okay almost 11.2 kilometer per second this numerical value you will get 11.2 into 10 to the 3 so dividing by 10 to the 3 you will get in terms of kilometer per second so you can see that uh, using this formula we can say g is a constant so using this formula we can say that escape velocity for different planets are different and that velocity depends upon the mass of the planet and radius of the planet mass of the planet and radius of the planet and using this formula we can say that escape velocity depends upon acceleration due to gravity for that planet for different planets acceleration due to gravity are different and of course radius of the planet okay so this was all about escape velocity of any object for any planet so this is the common formula and for R we have uh, we know the values of small g and capital R these values are known to us and using those values we have calculated that velocity v is equal to 11.2 km per second ok so for R if you uh, give this much of velocity minimum this much of velocity to any object of any mass whatever be the mass you can see that the escape velocity does not depend upon the mass of the object okay mass of the object is absent here mass of the object is also absent here so on the mass of the object the escape velocity does not depend it depends it depends upon the mass of the planet and radius of the planet okay so for any object if you for art we are talking about art so for any object if you give this much of velocity minimum this much of velocity then the object will not come back to the surface of earth again it will go to infinity of course if there is no collision between that object and any other planet or stars okay if there is empty space then the object will go on moving up to infinity okay Okay, so this was all about escape velocity. Uh, this is the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching this video. Have a beautiful day.